Hello, I'm Agnès Crépet from Fairfun. I'm the head of software longevity and IT. And today we are very proud because we are launching Android 10 on Fairfun 2. And we are here to answer the most asked questions. Well, because software updates are important. The software that runs through fun is never completely finished. It requires continuous maintenance, and for example, new discovered security vulnerabilities need to be addressed. And Android 10, because Android 9 is not uh, maintained anymore, will allow us to continue doing so for fair function. But software updates also allow us to fix any issues you might be having on your phone. And last but not least, you will be able to take the benefit of all the new features of Android 10, like, for example, the new privacy controls or the dark team. Hi, I'm Maarten. I'm a senior software engineer at Fairphone, and I've been working on the Android 10 upgrade for Fairphone 2. I'm sure you've heard us say this somewhere. We're here to change the industry to prove that tech can be ethical and sustainable. A big part of this is the fact that the longer you keep your phone, the smaller its environmental footprint. And software plays a huge role in this. We're setting new benchmarks by providing software support for our phones for at least five years. Uh, and we're determined to push the boundaries of the Android ecosystem in order to achieve this. Hello everyone, I'm Bharat from India, working on the Fairphone 2 Android 10 project. We started working on the Android 10 project in the late 2020. At that time, Android 11 was just released and it was pretty much unstable to start off with. Not just that, when you're trying to take matters in your own hands, upgrading a seven-year-old device, the odds of passing hundreds and thousands of tests for the GMS approval is already against you. For the Android 10, we had to clear almost 690,000 tests to get the GMS approval. So the further you get, the more difficult the process becomes. And with Fairphone 2, we were already hitting limitations, for example, with the video decoding tests. And hence, upgrading to Android 11 or 12 was not a feasible option. Hi, I'm Luca. I'm Android Platform Engineer at Fairphone, and I've been working on the Android 10 upgrade for Fairphone 2 in the last year. Why developing an Android upgrade actually passing the countless test suites required for Google approval is the most important and the biggest challenge. There are over 690,000 tests that all need to be cleared in order to get it. This becomes even more difficult when the Fairphone 2 chipset isn't supported anymore by the chipset vendor. Um, for example, the Linux 3.4 kernel that is used on the device um, required a lot of backport and a lot of changes in order to support Android 10. Android itself does not necessarily get that much demanding between the versions. Now that we have upgraded the kernel, it is slightly faster when compared to Android 9. But yes, when you try to use some high-end applications or games, you might experience a bit of slowness. We will continue to provide software updates for as long as Android 10 is still actively maintained by Google. Well, maybe the question should be, why isn't everyone else doing the same? We're here to show that things can be done more sustainably in software, and constantly raise the bar for ourselves and the industry. That's easier said than done though, because it requires tackling many technical challenges. However, with the help of the open source community, especially LineageOS, and perseverance and commitment, we managed to get the job done. 